Welcome back to the channel. KHTV is in the building with your boy, King Howie. And this is my top 10 power rankings so far through five weeks of the NFL. And we will address this again five weeks mm -hmm. from now. And I'm not going to do no week to week power rankings. That shit is just too much. Too much shit to be looking at. All right. We're going to start from 10 and work our way up to the number one team in the league. Starting off at number 10, I have the Houston Texans as the 10th best team in the NFL. Um, they're first and third down percentage. They're ninth in total yards. They're 10th in rushing. They lost to the New Orleans Saints 30 to 28. Oh my God, these people. Um, they lost to Jacksonville. No, they beat Jacksonville. They beat the Chargers. They lost to the Panthers, and they beat the Atlanta Hawks. And um, I'm basing majority of my rankings off of strength of schedule and um, opponents. So I have them at number 10 because um, they're first and third down percentage. They're the number one team in third down percentage. So... Um, but as far as the strength of schedule, they played against Atlanta, who they blew out, um, the Chargers, who they beat, Jacksonville, and they lost to New Orleans, uh, a team they could have beat. Um, they lost with a field goal at the end. But as as far as the nature of, you know, the Chargers, Atlanta, Jacksonville, you know, they my they my 10th ranked team. Moving on, number nine, the number ninth ranked team, to me, in my power rankings, um, is the Ravens. Um, they're first in points. Um, their their third down percentage is forty six percent. That's ninth in the league. Um, they're rushing ninety one hundred and ninety two yards. That's second, and they're third in total yards at four hundred and forty one yards a game. But if you look at the strength of their schedule, they blew the Dolphins out. Um, Got away with a with a win against the Cardinals. Uh, lost to the Chiefs, lost to the Browns, and then they beat the Steelers twenty six to twenty three. Um, and the Browns blew them up, blew them out at home. So I got them as my ninth ranked team. Uh, now this might be a little controversial at the eighth pick, and some people me might be like, man, how you got them at the eighth pick? Um, I'm gonna tell you why. I got the Eagles <laughs> as my eighth ranked team in my top 10. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, what the hell? Um, I'm going to tell you why. They're second and third down percentage. Whenever they need a big play, Carson Wentz is going to make sure that that ball gets thrown to Zach Ertz or, um, or uh, what's his name, Alshon Jeffries. He's going to find somebody. On third down, so um, it's, but as far as they strength the schedule, they beat the Redskins, lost to Atlanta, lost to Detroit, um, they beat the Packers, and then they beat the Jets. So that's why I have them as my eighth ranked team, seventh ranked team in my top ten goes to the Seattle Seahawks, aka the Shit Hawks. Basically, they're probably like. They're like lower middle of the pack as far as like statistical rankings. Like they like a, like seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Like they they in that area. You know what I'm saying? As far as like statistical rankings. So that's why I have as my seventh ranked team in my top ten. You know, um, as far as strength of schedule though, you know they beat the Bengals, they beat the Steelers, um, in a close game. Um, they lost to New Orleans. They beat the Arizona Cardinals. I was at that game. And then they beat the Rams, a game that the Rams should have won with a late field goal. But Mr. Field Goal. So that's why I have them at number seven. Number six. And this was a hard. This one was hard for me to put them in, in the top ten, period. Um, but they're in the top ten. And the number six team in, the to, in my top ten uh, rankings is the 49ers. 
Uh, let's talk about the 49ers. Um, they're fourth in total yards at 427 yards a game. They're first in rushing with, you know, rushing for 200 yards a game. Um, and they're second in points scored at 31 points a game. But let's talk about the strength of schedule. They beat the Buccaneers. They beat the Bengals. They beat the Steelers. And they beat the Browns. Basically, they played three of the shittiest teams in the AFC North. I wanted to rank them lower, um, but they're undefeated. They had an early bye week, and they came in on Monday night, and they beat the brakes off of Baker Mayfield. I, I don't know what – I don't know what's wrong with the Browns, man. You know, they, they had all of this clout coming into the league, and – they just trash, but that's my sixth ranked team, the 49ers. Now, this might be a shocking, a shocking team that y'all would never expect to be in the top five. But they are. They are. And that team is the Buffalo Bills, aka the mm -hmm. Butt Fallo Bills. They are my ranked, my they are my fifth ranked team in my top 10 and that's basically because they have a hell of a defense <laughs> they have a hell of a defense um they haven't let no team so far this season score over 20 points in a game it just ain't happened the only team that had uh, one of the teams that have uh that's done that hold on let me check something out Oh, that has done that. You know, one of the teams that has done that. Um, and the defense just seems to come through, but based on strength of schedule, let's, based off the team they are, they beat the Jets 17-16. They beat the Giants 28-14. They beat the Bengals 21-17. They lost to the Patriots 16-10, and then they beat the Titans 14-7. The Buffalo Bills defense has consistently shown that they are legit throughout the first five weeks of the season. So that's why I have them as my fifth top-ranked team in the NFL. And remember, they are one of the teams in the NFL that has not let a team score over 20 points so far. Um, at the fourth... At the fourth... Uh, top... 10 team in my top 10 rankings is the Green Bay Packers. Now, I have them at number four because they are one of the leading teams in turnovers. Um, the Green Bay Packers have shown that they are, you know, kind of balanced, but based off their strength of schedule is why I have them ranked as the fourth Best team in my top 10 rankings. They beat the Bears 10-3 on the road. They beat the Vikings 21-16. They beat the Broncos 27-16. They, they lose to the Philadelphia Eagles 34-27. And then we beat the Cowboys 34-24. Now, um, as far as statistical... You know, the Green Bay Packers are all over the place. <laughs> there is like nothing consistent except for uh, points per game where I think we're like 13th or something like 13th, 13th team, 15th team, somewhere around there. Um, but as far as strength of schedule, that's why I put us at the fourth spot plus the turnovers that we commit, that we get every game, you know, the interceptions, the fumbles. You know, that defense is making things happen as far as like getting the ball back to the offense, you know, letting the, letting the offense have more possessions than the other team can allow than, than when they allow the other team to have. So that's why I have them at fourth. Um, my third top team in my top 10 rankings. Say that three times fast is the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, yes. Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Kansas City Chiefs, they are second in total yards with 444. 
uh, total yards a game. Their third down percentage is um, 48%, and they are first in passing yards. And um, I put them at three because they score points. Pat Mahone is an unbelievable quarterback as far as what he can do on the field to, you know, put this team, even when they in bad situations, Pat Mahone is going to figure out a way to get the ball to them on third, to somebody on third down. And that's very crucial in the NFL is third down completions. If you're not completing on third down, you're not moving the chains. So, with their strength of schedule, they beat the Jaguars 40 to 26. That was on the road. Um, they beat the Raiders 28 to 10. They beat the Ravens 33 to 28. Um, they went to Detroit, came back and won 34 to 30, and they lost to the Colts at home 19 to 13. Um, you know, Pat Mahomes got banged up, but as far as what, you know, Total yard, second, third down completion, third down percentage, first and passing. That's why I have them at number three. Um, at number two on my top ten power rankings is surprise the New Orleans Saints. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "What the hell?" The New Orleans Saints is the number two team in my top ten rankings. Why? Balanced team and coaching. Balanced team and coaching. Of course, Drew Brees is hurt. Sean Payton has coached up Teddy Bridgewater after the injury game against the Rams where they have to throw Teddy Bridgewater in a fire. You know, so I can't really count that loss on Teddy Bridgewater. And winning the next three games in a row, you got to give it up to the coaching, man. <laughs> you got to give it up to the coaching. You know, they win a close game against the Texans, 30-28. to 28. They lose to the Rams when Drew Brees got hurt, second game of the season, 27-9. They go into Seattle and beat the Seattle Seahawks, 33-27. to 27. The Cowboys come to the Saints, and they defensively shut down the Cowboys winning that game, 12-10. to 10. And then they go on the next week. <laughs> And uh, beat the brakes off the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who came off of a huge win against the Rams, putting up 55 points against the Rams. And they beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31-24. to And Teddy Bridgewater has a 300-yard passing game, which is like seeing a unicorn. <laughs> so they are my second-ranked team in my top 10 top rankings. Um, And, of course... The number one team in the NFL, and you guessed it, it is the New England Patriots. They are third in points, scored a game, and they are first in damn near every category on defense. They are the second team who hasn't allowed a team to score 20 points. They are the first team to not allow a team to score 15 points <laughs> in the first five weeks of this season. Um, but the Patriots have like the easiest schedule in the league. Um, but when you look at their roster, man, Brady, I mean, the Patriots are suffering from so many injuries. They have to deal with the whole Antonio Brown situation. And I know it sounds like I'm making an excuse for the, the Patriots. I know. I do not like the Patriots. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I hate the stinking Patriots. Don't like Tom Brady. Respect his game, but don't like Tom Brady. I, but I respect his game. Um, they played the Steelers. They blew them out 33-3. to Then they went and shut out the Dolphins 43-0. to then they took it took it easy on the Jets, thirty to fourteen. Um, I don't know how injured Brady was in the Buffalo Bills game, but you know they got out of that game, you know, uh, 
barely 16 to 10. And then, you know, the Redskins are a total freaking mess. Coach Gruden is fired. Colt McCoy comes back. Doesn't look, don't even have the Wayne Haskins issues. I don't, I don't, the Redskins is just on their way to 0 and 16, man. Um, along with the damn Dolphins. So right now, them two teams is fighting for a uh, first draft pick <laughs> in next year's draft. But, you know, the Patriots are the Patriots. They have the easiest schedule in the league. Um, I did have some honorable mentions that didn't make the make the top 10 list, and those teams were the Lions, and that's based off of their uh, they record 2-1-1. One, and one. Um, and uh, the Lions, the Raiders, and the Chicago Bears were my three honorable mention teams that didn't make the top 10. Um, but, yeah. Those are my top 10 rankings, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the shit. Uh, hopefully, you know, the Packers can move their way up in the power rankings sometime around week 10 when I do this shit again. But, yeah, man, I'm out, man.